The Source. We have a lot of talented people in our community, and that is good for all of us because that means we have lots of things that we can do as part of our entertainment choices. Uh, and I love when we have live stuff. And uh, Kim Sandstrom has been an integral part of that scene for so long. I, I don't know how long we've known you, Kim, but it, it, it goes, years, it goes back 12 years. Is that right? Uh, and now you're here to uh, talk to us about Peter Pan. Uh, Saints on Stage presents Peter Pan. It's April 19th, 20th, and 21st. At 7 p.m., April 21st, at also at 2 p.m., it That's sounds right. like, at St. John's Lutheran School. And uh, and you have a lot of people in here from, the, from the play. I do. And there's a lot more that aren't here, but uh, we we did we were able to bring these wonderful young student actors in today. Well, good to see you, Kim. How are you? I'm doing great. Peter Pan, never done it. This it's, is your love. You love doing this, don't you? Can you tell? You? Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, really yeah. do. But more than that, I love them. They're awesome. They make it all worthwhile. Yeah, yeah. And this has been a terrific uh, year for me. As I've done shows over the years by the way i can't hear you in here so i don't know what's going uh, on okay well, yeah I'll help you with that all righty but um the thing is i the last couple years i've i'm doing the classics that i've never directed uh, all my life nope still can't but that's okay <laughs> there we go and so peter pan i'm going to tell the story of how we selected peter pan and then we'll introduce everybody you know every year it's a struggle trying to figure out for our wonderful um school here in ocala st john's what's going to be the best play for the most amount of students our program we at saints on stage at st john lutheran we usually have about 30 to 40 families that are involved which is a lot so every year it gets harder to pick the right show last year we did the sound of music big show it yeah, was wonderful yeah, yeah, yeah. so like everybody's going what are we going to do what are we going to do so i'm in the public spot parking lot. There is a story here, uh -huh, a backstory uh -huh, uh -huh. on 36 and I'm tired. It's the end of the day. I'm getting groceries and a lady walks up to the car. Uh -huh. She's a little older than me and she's definitely having a challenging moment in her life. And she goes, my son and I are living in a car over there. She goes, I could use a little help. And I said, well, I've only got a little to help, but I will. And then she said, open up your hand. And I opened up my hand and she put a rock in my hand. I wish we'd brought it today. And on it was painted Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. And I went, oh, my goodness, lady, you don't know what you've done for me today. And I went right back to the school. And now we take that rock. Oh, nice. And it's passed around among our cast. And the cast goes home and tells their parents about how we selected the show this year. Wow. Because wow. as you know, you know, we're built on holy ground over there. And we really care deeply about yeah, what yeah, we do. Yeah, 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 So we're Peter Pan this year. May I introduce our Peter Pan? Let's see. Who is Peter Pan? All yes. right. I have over here to my right, stage right, I have Serena Mojica, who is a new student at St. John's, and she is a delightful high-flying Peter Pan. Serena, I'm turning Hello. it over to you. Hello, Serena. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. So how, how does it feel to play Peter Pan? I mean, you have to fly? Oh, yeah. no. Well, we, <laughs> we don't have a rig or anything, but it's definitely set up perfectly for what we are and how we do it. Really? And it comes really? together. And we really believe we're flying, so yes. it looks like we're flying. Is, is that right? I mean, how? What, do you well, like roller well, skates or hoverboards or something? Well, it's just the more, it's <laughs> acting, it's uh, suspended disbelief. And so you just do your acting and right, the audience right. will believe it. I yeah, love yeah. it. Oh, that's exactly right. Suspended disbelief. Yeah. That's my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's everything. Yeah. So now, you know, Peter Pan um, comes alive right. with her nemesis. And her nemesis is... The, Captain Hook, right? That's right. Now right, I'm going to introduce Captain you to Hook. Captain Hook. Do I have Captain Hook? Oh, jo is it Jordan? Yes, sir. Jordan Pendarvis, our only senior in the cast, leading the way as Captain Hook. How, how do you like playing Captain Hook? I love it. <laughs> being bad. Have so. you ever seen an, a crocodile? Yes, <laughs> I have. We live in Just Florida. Don't, Florida. Go, don't yeah. go too close. Really? I see alligators everywhere. Yeah, we see alligators, but there's also crocodiles. <clears throat> really? Yeah. Only place in the world with both. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I missed them. I, so so uh, how, how challenging was it to play Captain Hook? Do you have to do a different voice? Yes. <laughs> Struggle, can, but yes. Can you share that voice? Can you hold up? Just move that microphone a little bit more. You, just, yeah, there you, there, go. You go. there you go. There you go. Um, most of all, I want their captain, Peter Pan. Twas he that cut off my arm. Wow. I didn't expect her to do that. That's that was awesome. very good. Give everybody a round of applause. That please. was very good. 
<laughs> you see, uh, why, by the way, we not only train great actors at Saints on stage, we train great audiences. Can, they're over there, our hoi polloi over there. <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you so much. So now that. we have Peter Pan and Captain Hook. Yep. And I, let's see if I remember the the... the the uh, story. Wendy was one of the children, yes. right? Wendy Darling. Who, Wendy Darling. Which, who is Wendy? <laughs> well, of I course. Oh you're, oh, you're Wendy. Okay. Oh. Sir, and what I is am. your real name? I'm Blaine. Blaine. Nice to meet you, Blaine. And and uh, were there any challenges? Well, wasn't Wendy like really sweet? You look really sweet. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, I really loved being able to tap into the role of Wendy because I've been actually in the play for several years, a big sister. <laughs> <laughs> Every role I've almost gotten has been a big sister. Is that right? Ooh, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I love playing Wendy because I feel like that's kind of who I am, actually. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> it was so, really fun. I enjoyed it. You, you know, I'm, I'm just drawing a blank. Maybe you, Oh, thank you, Robin, for turning the camera. Is, is, is there like a... Uh, um, what do you say? Like a, a social message in Peter Pan? I can't remember. There it, are several. A yeah. lot. There are multi- multiple messages. Yeah. yeah. And I'll talk about the story in a moment if you don't mind. Can we introduce the rest of the story? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, I was great. wondering if Wendy could help me out with yeah, that. Yeah, but he would be perfect to do that. Yeah, yeah, Go yeah. ahead. Uh, a main role is how Peter Pan never wants to grow up and how he wishes Wendy was never to grow up with him. And in the end of the play, not to give any, uh, giving anything away, she <laughs> grows up and becomes an adult. And Peter doesn't understand the fact of how she grew up and um, how he is not going to be able to see her as the young kid. Mm. Oh, again. okay. So you have to change your role. I mean, oh, from yes. the beginning of the play to the end, you from grow up. From a twelve-year-old to a thirty-year-old. Really? Oh, that's old. <laughs> yeah, thirty is really old. I'm I don't telling you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So who else? Who are we missing? Go ahead and you introduce them, Miss Wendy. I am Haley. Hello, Haley. Hi. How are you? Who do you play? I am slightly. Slightly. A lost boy. Slightly soiled. Oh, oh you're a slightly <laughs> soiled? That's your name? <laughs> yes. What a she's crazy name. I don't boy. remember that name. That's actually from the play, Slightly Soiled? And she's a lost boy. Do you know, I have been both. Slightly <laughs> soiled and a lost boy. So, so um, at, w- is this a first play for you? You look really young. Um, Actually, I've been in The Sound of Music and The... Um, You've been in The Sound of Music? Wow. Yes, and... This is Gretel. You were Gretel? Gretel? <laughs> yeah. Um, and The Snow Queen. The Snow Queen? Oh, mm-hmm. oh wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. So so what was... Uh, did do you like this role? Were you hoping you got this role? I actually didn't know about the Lost Boys. <laughs> oh, oh, really? <laughs> and are, why are they lost? Uh, uh, because they're out in Neverland. They've fallen out of their prams and they're separated from their mums. Yeah, lots of lost a, boys. I don't know what a pram is. Oh, a perambulator. A Seven stroller. days. Oh, okay, okay. A perambulator. That's what that's actually what a pram is. That what they're called? Yeah, perambulators. Pram- wow. I'm actually, learning a lot. at the end, I find out who my mother is. It's Liza. Oh, really? Shh, shh. You're not supposed to give it away. Oh, you're not supposed to give that away. No. That's okay. You're slightly soiled. Nobody will notice. Yeah, yeah they don't believe you. Yeah, they don't believe you. Nobody, nobody will notice. She's the main lost boy. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, on the end, who who do we have at the end? Uh, my name is Hannah. I am Mr. Smee. <laughs> you are Mr. Mr. Shmi. Yes. Now, Mr. Shmi, let me think. That's who, who, who is? That's my Oh, yeah, that's your friend. Yes. Okay. That's Shirley to Hooks. Oh, so you're the, the couple of bad guys. <laughs> yes. Right? But you, but Shmi was a funny bad guy, wasn't he? Uh, yes. I am uh, I'm lovable, <laughs> according to Hook. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have a special voice you use? I try to. <laughs> what does yours sound like? Um... That is true. Shall I after him, Captain? Tickle of Johnny Corkscrew. Johnny's a silent fellow. Wow, that was almost... You almost sang that. <laughs> Are you a singer? I do sing sometimes. So didn't that sound like she was going to sing a song? Mm. Yeah. Does anybody else... Is, is there singing in the show? There actually is. Yeah? Because one of the hallmarks of our fun shows we do at Saints on Stage is we do something that's a surprise for the audience. And we have taken one of two of my favorite songs from Imagine Dragons thunder and the pirates do it and it's amazing and when they do thunder they turn the entire darling mansion into neverland and it's really a blast wow we actually have um our peter pan's doing a solo so we've added music into the show it's delightful and the one thing about hannah she plays with the praise group at saint john church she plays guitar she plays piano she sings Mm -hmm. and hannah is truly amazing yeah thank you absolutely absolutely we actually have a fight choreographer one of our appearances come up come into the show and and she's teaching fight choreography, so you'll see some sword play. Fight choreography. I'm telling you what. You know, I, when I taking watch. Taking it to Broadway. Let's when I, go. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> when I see a sword fight on the movie, I always wonder, how did they work that out? There is. I mean, how, how do you not hit somebody? Slowly. Slowly. Slowly? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then you speed it up? 
Yes. Yeah. Well, I fence for uh, you do sport, so it comes like easier because you have to you have to You've know fencing. But the choreography, you have to do it very slowly. You learn each step by step, each turn, like a dance, and then you put it all together in one coherent piece, and then you just practice it, and it gets wow. quicker. Oh, and they're good. Oh, they're good. You guys have got your second choreography almost down. Uh, we haven't exactly started it yet. <laughs> well, what do you do, Kim? How do you, how do you get everybody to? Uh, I well, yeah, mean, no, it it's, sounds it's like a, it's several a, talents. It's a group effort, and it's because of the school, because of St. John Lutheran, the kind of school that it is, and and you know our mission and our purpose is to uplift, do things with excellence, and, and give it all for the glory of God. So we've got so many wonderful volunteers who understand that message and that mission with our kids. We have no dearth of help. We've got wonderful set already built. We've got the fight choreographer. We've got actually one of our friends, our Saints on Stage friends, Rita Lewis and Singer, got to talk about Rita. She's a lovely Stone Creek resident who is a special friend of ours. And she comes, and when I'm working on certain sections of the show, she'll take my lost boys and she'll just work with them on their Sorry. diction wow. and pronunciation. Wow. And that. Wow, yes. you you are working with a, a really wonderful lady in, in uh, Kim. Oh, uh, thanks. Kim's been doing so much in our community for so long. I, I wouldn't even begin. She asked me what what, what play I went to, and I couldn't remember. <laughs> Robin's been all it, it, it was one of the first ones. Though. I remember that. Anna yeah. Green Gables, maybe or oh. something. Oh, Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> no, I remember which one it was. It was the one you wrote. Oh, Damselfly. It was the one, yes. About my daughter. Yes. Whoa. Yes, yes. When yeah. was that? When did you do that Well, one? that's actually toured the country. So it's been in Portland, Oregon um, twice, I think. And it was at Rasmussen College. And then I can't remember where else we've, we've done it. It's very yeah. highly personal. And yeah, you know what? very, very personal. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, um, and I know that St. John Lutheran's alumni from Saints on Stage produced it themselves. Is they that had, right? We had two young students yeah, who yeah, were college yeah. students who said, Miss Kim, we want to take the story of your daughter and and bring it to life again for nice, you. Yep. Nice. Thank you for remembering that, Larry. It's so nice to see you doing something you love. It, it obviously shines. This long. <laughs> this long, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, anything we do for at all is that, we, that we love doing. So it is, is acting, singing, dancing, uh, fencing. I mean, the, all these talents that, that are, have to be used in order to do this. Um, do, do, you, do any of you favor one? Like, do you favor singing or, or acting? What, I see heads nodding. Yeah. <laughs> let's go down the row, row here. What? I love to act. So you you love to favorite. act. So act, acting is some some place you see yourself going in the future? Yes, sir. Like in, in what regard? Is there somebody you were inspired by? Um, or influenced by, maybe? I'm trying to think of the name. Whoever plays Minerva McGonagall from Harry Potter. Oh. Oh, really? Maggie Smith, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Maggie, you are an old soul if you love Maggie Smith. I, I love, love that. Oh, and my. She was a big influence on me as well. Wonderful. Is that right? Now, and what is it about her that, that influenced you? Mm. I love how, like, she can say her lines with such power, but she isn't, like, I don't know. She isn't, she's intense without intense. Yeah, yeah. I, I can see you have that, though. I Thank can see you. it already. Yeah. Um, Oh, forgive me for forgetting my Serena. names. Serena, Serena. Uh, I love acting and fencing. They're both. I acting runs in my blood because I have. But acting can can pay the bills. Does fencing pay the bills? Stop! It can. You've got to be really good at all. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But fencing, I don't never heard anybody if making you, a living at that. If you get sponsors, there's a lot of um, oh, really? paid paid fencers, professional. So they fencers. put their ads on the sword or something. Yeah, they uh, they <laughs> they well they sponsor through uh, just money and a lot it goes to the olympics and then after that there's a big career. oh wow because okay. there's a lot there's yeah. a lot of world championships uh throughout the world and just all yeah around. and i just want to say serena is a very very athletic uh young lady and w this is a very interesting show because when yeah. i put out the casting call for peter pan i got what four boys i think mm -hmm. four boys and about 45 girls and i said that's okay all our lost boys are going to be cast with the girls that we have. All, I, I think <laughs> Where are the boys? Are they 90%? lost? Of, yeah, well, we, you know what? We were rebuilding here. We actually graduated a lot of people. This is our only senior. But, you know, we are a can-do, we'll-make-it-work kind of school and, and with it, in our program. And it's been absolutely outstanding to see the girls as lost boys, as pirates, as Captain Hook, as Peter, see their power in it. And even our little Michael... Is a little girl. Is is Emma Reese, and her mother's even bobbed her hair for her, and it's absolutely oh, wow, fabulous. Wow. And I asked the girls when we all cast. I said, "Do you mind playing pirates and not being pretty and not being the mermaids and all yeah, that stuff?" Yeah. And they were on it. They were ready. 
I mean, they got big. Are tough there mermaids voices. in Peter Pan? I there are mermaids too. <laughs> we got mermaids. We got everything. <laughs> uh, it, and, and is it videotaped? You videotape these? Uh, we, uh, well, you probably know, we, not we easy, video, right? We videotape clips of it. In fact, you yeah. can go to YouTube and watch almost all of the sound clips of, of the, the Sound, sound of music. music. Chris Spears. Oh, really? Uh, Chris Spears. You know, our good friend Chris uh-huh, uh-huh. did it for us because his daughter was in nice, it, and they were outstanding. Nice. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah. I want to say one other thing about Peter Pan, if you don't mind, because you brought up the play that I wrote about my daughter's life. And, you know, when we were doing our backstory and our research on this show, um, it's always important to me to teach the story, teach the playwright, teach the era. All of that is deeply important to me. In the research that I did on J.M. Barry, we discovered, all of us, J.M. Barry lost a brother, an older brother, who wow. was 13 years old. And he blamed himself because they were on the ice. And mm. there was a little bit of a fight. The boy fell, cracked his head, and he passed away. Oh, wow. His mother never recovered. J.M. Barry's mom right? never recovered fully and so that J.M. Barry as a young man built this story about Peter Pan and it's you can see it as we as we do it and the lost boys longing for a mother and and Peter not wanting to grow up and face all of those feelings it's a very deep play and in fact we chose the London version that was a rewrite from Trevor Nunn which is a fairly mature version of the show and a little bit more difficult and yes you heard their accents they're on it yeah, the yeah but I wanted to tell you the backstory yeah because it's yeah, very yeah. rich and deep yeah I, I, I'm horrible with accents every every <laughs> Everything, everything I do sounds like uh, Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> you know Foghorn Leghorn? <laughs> uh, Serena? Blaine. 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 Where, where am I, Robin? Where am I up to? Oh, Kim is the first name. I'm trying to count down. Blaine. Yes. So tell me about yourself with, with your talents. Where do you um, where do you hope to go? I love acting and I love singing. I'm not singing in this show this year, but I did sing last year a lot and <laughs> the years before. And I sing at school also with Hannah. And um, I see myself either going into music or acting as like minoring in a career for career for me. But it seems like one complements the other. Like when you watch America's Got Talent, one of those shows, the singers who can sing well also seem to have a lot of emotion when they sing, their hand movements and all that. And I suppose stage that's presence. an acting stage presence. Thank you. Yeah. Even gymnasts and even um, ice skaters, if you watch the Olympics, the ones that did well, it showed on their face. The passion, the story came out in their face, honestly. Yeah. And that's, yeah. the, that's the truth. Yeah. This is, the, you, this is you years ago, isn't it? This is you. You are oh, them. Oh, right? yeah. Not as, no, not as good as them. <laughs> <laughs> Never could I have been. And, you know, it's also, I just want to emphasize the school and what a remarkable place it is to, my own son went there and, and it's just been a delight. We didn't have a program, you know, when I came. There was no You theater. invented it, right? No, um, we had a teacher that had been praying. I think it was Debbie, Debbie Heath, our principal. I walked into the school. She goes, we've been praying for 20 years. It's here now. It's well, on. That, well, you can't. Well, then you can't. Okay. You, yes. So you give her credit for starting it because I she prayed. Her cre- amen, amen. <laughs> well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take credit for world peace when that happens. Because <laughs> I've been praying for that. Yes, but, well, all right. Yeah, no, Debbie, Debbie, <laughs> Debbie was a visionary, and she allowed us to really explore it and put the shows on that we have. And, you know, we're looking at Newsies next year. That's That might be on tap. Yep, I know. Newsies, that's Newsies, a play? Newsies, that would be fun. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, um, t- you know, tickets are, there are adult tickets, there are student ticket prices, there are senior ticket prices. Um, we do sell out on opening night. So I, people got to get their reservations. And, you, I, and you gave us something to give away, right? I did. I gave you 14 tickets to give away Oh, my air. gosh. Okay. Well, we'll do that. We'll do that um, later on. Um, Haley. Yes. You are so young. I, I'm just trying to think. I mean, do you even, what do you think you, you're going to go and do when you get older? What are you going to be doing? I love acting, so I really want to go on Broadway and do acting and You are stuff. so grown up, though. <laughs> so little and so grown up. So you think acting is your thing? Have have any of you been to Broadway? Actually, actually, the in New York. Yes. Kim has yes. been there. Yes. Oh, you have. Yes. And and did it influence you at all when you're sitting there watching oh, all yes. that? Yeah. Oh yes. Saw lots of plays this year actually. Do you know I grew up in New York, but I never went to a Broadway play. Wow. Never wow. once. I went to wow. Radio City Music Hall to see the Christmas thing. Yeah. And the Rockettes. It's not the, yeah, Rockettes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Saw the Rockettes. I know. It's, so that's what you, uh, Haley. You you are hoping to do that. Yeah. Do do uh, did you have somebody that you look up to as an actress or an actor that um, has an influence on you? I mean, I saw like I really wanted to do acting because I saw my cousin do it. Oh, and okay. I saw her. I'm like, that seems so much fun. It and does seem fun when you watch somebody yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do your mom or dad act? Anybody? <laughs> no. 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 They don't act. No. They don't ever act angry. 
<laughs> I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. Uh, and Hannah, wh- where, where are you going to take these talents? Um, I mean, I really love acting. It's something that when I do it, I just feel like at peace and that I've done my best and I just love doing it. Is that right? So you it's know, like a meditation for you? Um, kind of. And I just feel like as long as I do my best and if the crowd is happy, I'm perfectly fine with it. And I just feel really happy about myself. Hannah, Hannah I had the lead in a dinner theater production that the pastor at St. John wrote recently. I, I, mm-hmm. had, a, I had a small part in it, but it was really a pleasure really? to watch her in something that was created for the church and written for the church. And we had a sold out dinner theater. That yeah. Was I great. just hope when you have a dinner theater, nothing is crunchy. I mean, wouldn't that ruin it? <laughs> we, there was, um, during this dinner theater, there was, um, you would do watch the acting and then you would eat. And then when you were done with like that meal, you would watch more acting and then oh, you'd eat. Okay. So there was um, intervals when it would happen. Yeah. Robert and I went to a movie theater in, in Disney Springs and, ah. they, and they served food. Right, and so I ordered all this food, and we're watching this movie, and it gets to a quiet part, and you hear me, (laughs) (laughs) and I I said to Robin, can you hear me? And she said, yes. (laughs) I had to wait. I had to wait until there was a a gunfire or something. (laughs) Hannah could tell you all about Disney. Yes. Yes. Is that right? Oh, you know Disney really well? Oh, yes. yes. Um, My whole family and I, we go there way too often, probably. Um, Really? Really? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. we have we've been going since we've moved here a lot, so it's really, been fun. Really, yeah, we've I, man, it's been years and years. But we went uh, New Year's Eve day. We we went. Yeah, it, it was so crowded. Yes, it was unbelievable. There was a, a line. At this thing in Pandora, six hours mm-hmm. long. Why does anybody wait six hours for a long? You gotta get the sweet spot. There's sweet spots yeah. for each yeah. part of Disney, and you gotta hit the. I gotta go with right somebody time. who knows how to do this. You this gotta is, get fast passes. Okay, Robin, fast passes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one more thing about about Hannah and the older students is is when they have the uh, children's productions on Sunday morning yep. in the late service. Uh, Hannah is like a mentor to the younger students right. because mm-hmm. Pastor Shanks and Annette they really do some great things yep. with their writings and it's really wonderful that the older students are mentors for the younger ones. I love it too. And they're they're that way in Saints on Stage. You know there are two characters that aren't here that I want to mention. Without these two characters the show the way it was written and created would not go forward. Uh, One of them is Chloe. What's Chloe's last name? Anybody remember? Teach? No. No. That's Sophia Teach. Oh never mind. What is it Chloe's last name? Got it. And the, these two young ladies are called storytellers. And the way the show is developed, you will see them come out on stage in some of the most creative, elaborate, Broadway quality costumes you really? have ever. Steampunk Victorian. And these two incredible. Steampunk incredib- Victorian. I'm, telling you, I'm learning new words today. I'm telling you what. <laughs> uh, yeah, perambulator. These two incredibly talented. <laughs> right, how how old is Chloe, guys? Sixth grade. Sixth grade. grade. And Sophia, sixth grade, I think. And they come out and they weave the story together and they change costumes and they morph into Neverland. I'm telling you, you, the audience is going to ask themselves, is it magic? Is it real? Is it a dream? Is it all three? Mm-hmm. And that's kind of the whole feeling. Where's the, the show. stage at, on the campus? We transformed the gym into a theater about two weeks before the show. We even oh, keep, we even keep okay. the lights off so that they don't think of it as a gym. It's tarped. We have to change the whole attitude of the children. You know, uh, my students. I don't like to call you children because you're so good and <laughs> so mature. And so we we actually have two weeks where they get to think of it as a theater. You have a time. very musical pastor too, don't you? We do. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Pastor Shanks. He's you, been in here uh, with his wife, and no. uh, I don't think he played though, did he? No, we talked about day. his music. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he writes. He writes music. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. he writes. And, and so, any 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 writers in the group? I mean, oh, you are okay. And any, any ideas on on taking that someplace? Uh, yes, I've often thought about journalism. I really, or poetry. I would publish poetry. I don't know if I'd turn that into a career. It's more of a hobby. Yeah. But yeah. I really enjoy just writing because uh, I think words are beautiful. And I like how they feel, writing them down on the page. Oh, nice. And there's a certain sense about making them beautiful and telling a story with them. You know, may I ask you, Peter, doing doing the, the part of Peter written in J.M. Barry's time, it's, it's different, isn't it? And I know you've done Shakespeare before. Uh, yes, I've done Shakespeare my whole life. That's been my main thing. Really? That's right. Wow. But I really love Victorian England. I'm really passionate about that. Uh, I love Queen Victoria, first and foremost. <laughs> nice, She's nice. an amazing queen. But... We- I just love the whole feel of yeah. it, and how we're getting into the history of it, and the accents, and the attitude, and the mores of the time. Nice. So you'll see these, you'll see these young actors. It's not just lines, it's not just blocking that we're still learning. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's not that. And and the, the hallmark too, one of, of our shows is this: we don't need sets, costumes, or props. 
All we need are our actors to. You make don't it. need them, but you have them, right? We have them, yes. but we don't yeah. need them because the good. kids are that I, wonderful. I hear what you're saying. Yeah, we have the privilege, Robert and I, of meeting the cream of the crop of people in our county, and you, you ladies, have have once again shown us what it. What it is like out there. You are making us all proud. Thank you for um, doing this, giving us something fun to go to, and and obviously just bubbling over with talent and, and, and intelligence. Kim, you are amazing. Thank you for what you thank do. You, Larry. We thank you for what you do in this community every day. All right. Ladies, thank you. And, thank and the parents you. with the yeah. cameras, uh, you. your, your yeah. memory's about up now. Those cameras, they probably don't have it. This, this will be uh, up as a video by uh, Chu today. Oh, thank You'll you, be Larry. able to share thank it, okay? You. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you, everybody. We'll be right back. Bye-bye. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Mostly sunny today with lowering humidity, high 71 to 76. And it will be clear tonight with lows of 50 to 64. Tomorrow and Friday are going to be gorgeous days. We'll have plenty of sunshine, high 75 to 80. Tomorrow, highs 78 to 83 Friday. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Maggie Johnson. Are you or someone you know looking for a new career in health? Fox News Radio, I'm Chris Foster. House Speaker Paul Ryan is leaving Congress altogether at the end of the year. He confirms he will not run for re-election in November. Fox's Peter Ducey's at the Capitol. Every indication that Ryan has given, he gets asked about this a lot, to this point has been that he plans to stay on as Speaker. Now, apparently, though, that has an expiration date. He's only going to be the Speaker until January. Now the question becomes, who is going to succeed Ryan? To be a Democrat as Speaker if they win back the House. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg's back at the Capitol after apologizing to senators yesterday about users' information being misused. We have made a lot of mistakes in running the company. He also said people in Russia are still trying to exploit the platform. This is an arms race. Zuckerberg confirmed Facebook is working with the special counsel's office in the Russia probe. Zuckerberg goes for House lawmakers today. Fox's Rachel Sutherland in D.C. Fox News. We report, you decide. Hi, this is Jack from Banyan Hill. You might have heard about that $34.6 billion that's expected to be doled out in what we call freedom checks. Huge checks that are changing people's lives from coast to coast. People like Sean from Pittsburgh. In fact, he's on the phone right now. Sean, you there? Yes, I am, Jack. Sean, let me ask you, how do you like getting these massive checks in your mailbox every month? Well, Jack, we used to put stuff on credit cards living paycheck to paycheck. But now, after we started collecting a specific kind of freedom check, I have to say, life's a lot more fun. I bet it is. In fact, getting massive freedom checks is fun no matter who you are. And with $34.6 billion expected to be paid out in private, non-government money starting as early as May 1st, now's the time to stake your claim on some cash. To get all the details, go to www.freedomchecks225.com before the May 1st deadline. That's www.freedomchecks225.com. Gene Powell Pastimoing, 352-629-2440. Our